Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, Life Reboot. My name is Dev and today we are going to talk about the Moto G31. In this video, I will talk about the problems and also about the small things which I do not like about this phone. Some points might seem irrelevant but you guys deserve to know the whole truth. So, let's begin with the minor problems. The first thing which I do not like uh, about this phone is that there is no notification light in this one. Uh, this specially irritates me because some models last year, the older models got the notification LED like the Moto E7 Power and I was really happy to see that in the in that phone so i thought that motorola finally they are starting starting to give the notification leds but uh, they have again this year uh, the, uh, not given in any of their phones so that is one thing i do not like now uh, the next point is the google assistant button this cannot be reconfigured other phones in the motorola range actually allows allows you to uh, program it to open whatever apps you like but not this one um, i don't know why this is a very easy thing to fix for motorola but for some reason they do not do this and all of their uh, mid-range phone has this uh, hardware to Google Assistant. Now, uh, coming to the front, there is a silver ring right around the front camera and every time I see it, it annoys me a little bit. Maybe I'll get used to it eventually, but I guess not yet. It distracts you from the screen, which is a beautiful OLED screen. Blacks are really black, but then the camera hole shines and distracts you sometimes. Now, uh, the next point is about the fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor is a problem while watching videos and when your phone is flat on the bed, you have to pick it up to unlock it every time and uh, it would have been really nice if um, it was on the on the side somewhere, uh, on the power button as they do with their other models. Now, the interesting fact is that in the international version of this same phone, uh, the fingerprint scanner is actually on the power button. So for some reason, they changed it for the India's model. I, I don't know why. Um, the next point which I do not like is the internal storage of this is an EMCP and not UFS. As you all know EMCP is a bit slower than UFS so this phone feels a bit sluggish handling some things like gaming and some other things. So it would have been nice if it, if it um, had EMCP, uh, UFSC storage. Now coming to the bigger problems of this phone, there is a software bug. Uh, when we swipe up from below the screen, not all the apps, uh, opened apps come in the list. I will just show you. You actually have to do it multiple times. So I will clear all these things. I am clearing all these things. And you see it. I cleared all those things. Now if I do this again. You see it again came. One app. Now if I do this again. So now it went. But sometimes it's like you have to do it three, four times. And I don't know why it's a software bug. Um, you have to do it multiple times if you want to clear all the opened apps. So that's something I hope they fix it um, in their uh, next software fix patch. So sometimes uh, another thing is sometimes while opening YouTube, uh, what happens is uh, when you go full screen, um, the videos, uh, the YouTube goes dark and you will have to tap it twice uh, to clear the darkness. I don't know. Let me see if I can reproduce that. So what happens is let me see if I can reproduce it. It's not sometimes it's come, sometimes it doesn't. So play this. What happens is actually you have to, t when you do this, even when the video is playing and you do the full screen, this screen uh, remains like darkened a little bit and you will have to tap it two three times to clear that um, so it actually happened a lot of times when I started using it now these uh, now it is gone down a bit but still I get sometimes uh, when this happens so um, yeah again I hope they uh, fix this problem in their next update now uh, this phone does not have carrier aggregation um, that is it has 4g but you will not get 4g plus so that's that's uh, one thing I hope they um, fix. I, I, I'm not sure like it cannot be fixed to the software yet, but this is one thing which I do not like. Now coming to the battery life of this phone, the battery of this is 5000 mAh and it should easily give you around 1.5 to 2 days of usage. Uh, but for some reason this phone does not last this long. Um, even when it's a 5000 mAh battery, it goes smoothly till one day and I have to like by the end of the day I am left with around 14%, 15% charge. My earlier Moto G and Moto E7 power easily lasted for around two whole days with a full charge and those also had 5000 mAh battery. So something is definitely off with this model here. I don't know if it's for the OLED screen because those had LCD or for this processor but for some reason the battery gets drained very quickly now coming to the camera uh, the low light photography and videography of this is bad 
प्लेन एंड सिंपल इफ इफ यू गो आउट एंड डू इट ड्यूरिंग द डे टाइम आई वुड से द पिक्स एंड द वीडियोज कम्स वेरी वेरी क्लियर बट ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज वन आई ट्राई टू टेक पिक्चर्स और वीडियोज इनडोर्स आई गेट मिक्स रिजल्ट um so that, that that's one uh, very big problem which i found with this but not all is bad about this phone i have talked about the good things in my full review video the link of which will appear above now or in the video description below but i will recap the best things about this phone now the best thing about this phone is the beautiful a uh, full hd amoled display at this price packet uh, the colors are really vivid in this the operating system is stock android which is very efficient and fast and gives you an almost pixel like experience including live caption for anything on the screen and uh, sound search this you will not be getting in other uh, phones which are not stock android Uh, also coming to the heating issues there is no heating issues at all even when you are playing games or charging it or using your gps so i did not find any problem with overheating this has an oleophobic layer on the screen and an anti fingerprint coating which you will notice immediately when you pick this up it's very smooth you can almost feel it immediately especially if you are switching to this phone from some phone which does not have oleophobic layer so that's it for today guys if i miss anything please mention that in the comment along with any questions that you might have thanks for watching and goodbye